Kevin, I'm Miranda. Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Olive. And we're with Allstage Canine Development. And this segment today is gonna to talk about communication with your dog and how crucial it is to make sure you tell your dog what you're expecting of them and that they did it right. We don't want it to be a guessing game for your dog. So this is gonna help you eliminate all confusion with your dogs. So they know exactly when they've done something right and something wrong. So the first thing we're gonna talk about in our communication video is how to tie in markers and tone of voice. So we have positive and negative markers. Those are gonna be the words that are gonna tell your dog exactly what they've done wrong or right. Now at home, you can use any word that you wanna use, but we wanna keep it simple here in our videos and we're gonna use our easiest words that we have for when they've done something right and wrong and that's going to be yes and no. So when your dog has performed a behavior that you like, you're going to tell them yes. And when they've done a behavior you don't like, you're going to tell them no. And then you're gonna tie in your tone of voice. So we wanna be very clear with our tone of voice. So if we're telling our dog no, we're not just saying no, as if you were talking to a small child who maybe got into something, it would be no. But then you wanna follow up with a neutral tone of voice. So give the dog a new direction. So if they're getting into something, no, sit. Now that you've gotten them that neutral tone of voice, telling them what you want them to do, give them that positive marker word in a higher tone of voice, getting them a little more excited, making it very clear. So it's going to sound, no, sit, yes. You see how my tone of voice changed? I went low, I went medium, and then I went high. We wanna be very clear when it comes to the communication with our dogs, even so much as your tone of voice can be very important and very crucial to this. Another crucial part of communicating with your dog is going to be your payment and how you utilize that payment. So a lot of people like to use treats with their training and that is totally okay, but we wanna be strategic when we're using those treats. We wanna make sure that we are paying them when they've performed the behavior the right way. Something else to keep in mind too is when you're at home and you're doing communication on things that they want at home, use the things that your dog wants as their payment. If we're working at a job and we're not getting a paycheck, we're not gonna to wanna to do the job. But if we're getting a paycheck, we're going to continue doing the behavior that's getting us that paycheck. So that's what we want to do. We wanna pay the behavior that we want the dogs to do and they're gonna continue performing that behavior. But we also want to be very strategic as to when they are receiving that payment. I don't wanna to have to ask my dog 10 times for a sit because if I ask them 10 times and they finally do it, and then I give them that paycheck, I give them that form of payment, whether it's a treat or being allowed access outside or food or whatever the payment may be. If they receive it after doing the behavior 10 times, I just treated my dog for doing it 10 times. I only want to be paying my dog when I ask him to do it that first time. We are going to be showing you an example here in just a moment to make that a little bit more clear as well. So now we're gonna put all of those forms of communication into play. So just a quick summary. We wanna talk about our positive and negative markers, our tone of voice, and not repeating the commands that we're giving them. And then to finalize with whatever form of payment that you're using. So we wanna make sure that we're really clear with that communication. Nice job. Leave it. Yes. Sit. Yes. Okay. No, leave it. Yes, good girl. Sit. Yes. So we hope that you guys got some good tips and tools in this segment for communication. And we're gonna be constantly referring to these forms of communication during our other videos that we're gonna have come out to you. So again, my name is Miranda. I'm Alex and this is Olive. And we are with Allstage Canine Development and we can't wait to see you on the next video.